All right. Hi, everyone. Hope you're good. Hope you're well. Hope you're excellent wherever you are. This lecture will be our second lecture on demand, supply and market equilibrium. In the first lecture, we talked about the relationship between demand, supply and price. And we talked about when the market is in equilibrium. In this lecture, we'll go a step further. We'll talk about how we can use maths to calculate the market equilibrium. So how can we use mathematical calculations to talk about when the market is in equilibrium? Now, remember what we said from our first lecture. We said demand has a negative relationship with price. Supply has a positive relationship with price. And we said the market is in equilibrium when quantity demanded is equal to quantity supply here at price 60. So you see at price 60, demand is 500 and supply is also 500. So at this place, at this point, at this particular price, the market is in equilibrium. But how can we use maths to calculate this? We'll find out now. So, how do we find equilibrium price and quantity mathematically? It's really easy. The first step is you solve for the demand and supply function in terms of quantity. The question will usually give you this. The second step is you set your quantity supplied equal to your quantity demanded. Remember, your market is in equilibrium when your quantity supplied is equal to your quantity demanded. I'll say it again because that is the key. Remember, your market is in equilibrium when your quantity supplied is equal to your quantity demanded. Your third step is to solve for P, your equilibrium price. So once you set your quantity supplied is equal to your quantity demanded, you can solve for P. We'll have an example in a minute. Next, you plug your equilibrium price into either your demand or your supply function or both, and you can solve for Q. This will give you your equilibrium quantity. You plug it into your demand function, you get the same thing as if you plugged it into your supply function because the market is in equilibrium. All right, let's have an example. Here we've been given our quantity demand function and our quantity supply function. And we're going to try to find the equilibrium price and quantity mathematically. Okay, so step one. QD is equals 10,000 minus ATP. The question has already told us that. So that is our demand function. And our supply function is QS is equals to 20P. Step one's finished. Step two, we have to set our quantity supply is equal to our quantity demanded or quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. It's the same thing. Okay, let's do the first. All right. Once we do that, we can solve for P. So our quantity supplied is 20p, and that should be equal to 10,000 minus 80p. Step two is finished. Now step three. That will be solving for p. So we have 20p is equals to 10,000 minus 80p. That will give us, if we take minus 80 to the other side, that will give us 20p plus 80p is equals to 10,000. All we did was we took 80 to the other side. This will give us 100p is equal to 10,000. And this will mean p is equal to 10,000 over 100 
take your two zeros out and your p is equal to 100 that is our equilibrium price now we can plug it into either our demand function or our supply function and we'll get the equilibrium quantity all right let's plug it into our supply function first so we have qs is equals to 20p and we know p is 100 so that means qs is equals to 20 times 100 so qs is equals to 2000 we can plug it into our qd as well qd is equals to 10000 minus atp and this qd is equal to um 10,000 minus 80 times RP 100 that would be QD is equal to 10,000 minus 80 times 100 would give us 8,000 so QD is equal to 2000 remember our equilibrium point is where our quantity supplied is equal to quantity demanded and you can see that here so at equilibrium our price is 100 our quantity supplied is 2000 and our quantity demanded is 2000 so that's it solved okay all right once again just to recap all you have to do is set your quantity demanded is equal to your quantity supply you do that you will get 100 is equals to p so you add 80 p to both sides divide by 100 you get this um once you find your P, you plug it into your demand function, plug it into your demand function, you get 2000, or you can plug it into your supply function, you get 2002. Right, so your class activity is to find the equilibrium price and quantity in this market. Okay, so do this and I will see you on the other side. Be good to yourselves, be good to your families, be good to each other and have a fantastic day.